The fifth letter in the Thai alphabet is Kho Khon. Kho Khon. Kho is the first part, which is the sound it makes as an initial consonant or starting sound. Kho has the first tone. It has the same pronunciation and tone with Kho Khoai. It is equivalent to the English K K sound. Kokon has the same story as Kokwat, which is the third letter in the Thai alphabet, in that they are both obsolete, which means they are both no longer used in Thai. And you've probably noticed it already that the word Kon is spelled with Kokwai rather than Kokon. In the past, the word Kon was spelled sometimes with Kokon, but nowadays because it is obsolete, the word kon is spelled with kokwai instead. Although sometimes you would see people spell the word kon with kokon, but it is only for beauty or for style purposes. It is no longer the standard spelling of the word kon in the Thai language. Another word that historically has always been spelled with kokon is the word ko. The word ko nowadays is spelled with kokwai. The word ko means neck. And I'd like to take a minute just to tell you a short history about the letter kokon. In that the letter kokon originally represented the g. The English hard G, as in game, g sound, but later it morphed into the k sound, just like k k w a and so the letter k k w a and k k w a were used more interchangeably. The letter k k w a fell out of use in the late 1 9 t h to the early 2 0 t h century, which was around the same time as the introduction of the typewriters. Into Siam or Thailand at that time, where k o k w a t the third letter of the Thai alphabet, and k o k o n the fifth letter of the Thai alphabet, were removed because there weren't enough spaces on the typewriters. And as I've already mentioned earlier in the k o k w a t video, the letters k o k w a t and k o k o n properly persisted in the form of handwriting for many years. But it officially became obsolete in 1927 with the publication of the Royal Institute Dictionary in the same year. But it is still included in every version of the official dictionaries of the Royal Institute as part of the Thai alphabet. And for those of you who are interested in the history of k o k w a t and k o k o n I will make a video about that later on, and I will put the link on the video for you guys. So stay put. Next up, k o k is the second part, which is the vocabulary or word associated with that letter. The word k o n means person or people. <laughs> You can also add the country where you're from to the word k o n to denote the nationality of that person. For example, if you add the word Thai after the word k o n it becomes k o n Thai, which means a Thai person. If you add the word Malaysia after the word k o n it becomes k o n Malaysia, which means a Malaysian person. If you add the word Spain. After the word "con," then it becomes "con Spain," which means a Spaniard. And if you add the word "Canada" after the word "con," it becomes "con Canada," which means a Canadian. And for other nationalities, I will talk about it in detail in other videos. So stay tuned and check that out. Now let's try to pronounce "co con" together. "Co con." คอคนคอคน And now it's time to write คอคน It is very similar to คอควาย but only with a notch. 
So you start from the circle, go counterclockwise, and then go down, sharply go up, curve to the right with a notch, and then you go down. Okay, let's try that again. So you start from the circle, counterclockwise, and then down, go up, curve to the right with a little notch, and then go down. And that's how to write kokon in Thai. And that's it for kokon. Next, we have korakang.